So let's look at some examples. So the first example we're going to look at, let's say I'm looking at a relation R is defined on Z by A relates to B if the absolute value of A minus B is less than or equal to 2. And I want you to want us to prove or disprove the following. R is reflexive. So remember what it means to be reflexive. We gotta ask ourselves, is A related to A? That's the question. So another way, I guess, yeah, is A related to A? What does it mean to be related here? It means that the absolute value of A minus A would be less than or equal to two. Well, what's the absolute value of A minus A? Well, it's A minus A is zero. And the absolute value of zero is zero, and that's less than or equal to two. So yes, in general, an element from your integers is gonna be related to itself. So yes, R is reflexive, and we've kind of already written the outline of the proof. The outline is kind of contained in here. So let's write it formally. Proof. You're going to take an arbitrary integer a, then the absolute value of a minus a, we said is zero, and that's less than or equal to two. So a is related to a. And r is reflexive. So now let's ask, r, is it symmetric? Prove or disprove. So think about what symmetric means. Here, you might even want to take some examples. Like, if A is 2 and B is 0, the absolute value of 2 minus 0 is 2, and that's equal to 2. less than or equal to 2, it's equal to. So here I know 2 is related to 0, but I can ask myself, what about the reverse? So if I take 0, is 0 related to 2? Well, let's look. The absolute value of 0 minus 2 the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2, that's still less than or equal to 2. So yes, 0 is related to 2. So maybe you did an, an example and convinced yourself now that it's true, so let's prove it. So I want to say yes, R is symmetric. And let's prove it. So the proof we're gonna um, we're gonna assume that a is related to b. Well, then because a is related to b, the absolute value of a minus b is less than or equal to two. And what happens if I'm looking for B is related to A, I need to switch B minus A now. Well, I can factor a negative one 
out of those two terms. And then because I have a product here, the absolute value is the absolute value of the product. Well, the absolute value of negative one is just positive one. So this is the absolute value of a minus b. But remember that this is less than or equal to two. So we have that b, the absolute value of b minus a is less than or equal to two. And we've shown that b is related to a. Okay. So R is in fact symmetric. Now let's look at part C. I want to ask prove or disprove R is transitive. So let's think about this, right? For transitive, we have A is related to B, B is related to C, and the question is, is A related to C? So let's think about this. If A is related to B, that means that the absolute value of A minus B is less than or equal to 2. The absolute value of B minus C is less than or equal to 2. And so is this telling me that the absolute value of A minus C is less than or equal to 2? So remember that absolute value here corresponds to distance. So this first inequality tells me the distance between A and B is at most 2. The distance between B and C is at most 2. Does that mean the distance between A and C is at most 2? So you might want to look at some examples. So if I take, let's say, I want to pick numbers that are kind of far apart here. Let's say A is 2 and B is 0. Well then, if I look at A minus B here, the absolute value is 2. That's less than or equal to 2. So 2 is related to 0. Now if I take B being 0 and C being negative 2, and I look at B minus C, 0 plus 2 the absolute value of that is 2, again, less than or equal to 2. So 0 is related to negative 2. But now, let's look at the question, is 2 related to negative 2? So take 2 minus negative 2. This is the absolute value of 4. And this is actually bigger than 2, so 2 is not related to negative 2. So R is not transitive. And so because we're saying it's not true, you need a counterexample. And that's exactly what we found. Our counterexample here, you take A to be 2, B to be 0, and C to be negative 2, and then do all of this, this work up here, you will repeat down here for your counterexample. So you'll say, a is related, so I'll just go ahead and go with the numbers. 2 is related to 0 since the absolute of value of 2 minus 0 is 2, and that's less than or equal to 2. 0 is related to negative 2 since the absolute value of 0 minus negative 2 is again 2, 
but 2 is not related to negative 2 since the absolute value of 2 minus negative 2 is 4, which is bigger than 2. So this example, it, this relation was reflexive and it was symmetric, but it was not transitive.